Hey guys, make sure to check out G2A.com. A link is in the description below. They have really cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes, and a whole bunch more. Link in the description below. Hey guys, what's up, Tech Series? Welcome back to another Call of Duty 2017 video. And today we're actually going to be discussing a few things. The first one, confirmation from someone who actually is an industry insider, someone who has predicted Infinite Warfare in the past or actually talked about it before the game was actually out, along with some proof or some little bit of teaser and hints here that hint also towards Call of Duty World War 2 or at least a World War 2 setting. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First let's talk about these teasers and then I'll talk about this industry insider. Uh, but first let's talk about these little teasers. So the first one is actually something that has been happening for a while here and we've been seeing teasers from different companies who are licensed or have a license deal with Activision and Call of Duty and they've been releasing stuff that's very similar to a World War 2 era game, a past war era so the first one obviously is going to be the lego ones now these guys recently released that they're actually going to have a new collection coming out and it has jeeps and other artillery and stuff like that that is actually from the world war ii era so really really cool a little bit of a coincidence people are like well why are they releasing this when infinite warfare is a new game or even if it was a previous game like black ops 3 or advanced warfare you would still kind of expect some sort of you know modern kind of setting but no they went with a previous era or previous war kind of setting which is pretty interesting the other one is going to be control freak now these guys are notorious for being licensed with activision they've done control freaks for black ops 3 modern warfare remastered they've done some for zombies in spaceland for infinite warfare so these guys have a official licensing deal with call of duty and recently they actually released control freak heritage editions which cheap plug here if you guys want to you guys can actually buy those and get a 10% discount with my code OG X-rays link down below but they recently released these and these are kind of tailored towards a gritty older style Call of Duty and again coincidence that these guys are releasing this when the newest game is Infinite Warfare why would they release something that's a World War II era type thing for uh, something that hasn't been confirmed unless they have been told about this and they're working with Activision which they've done in the past now that we got those teasers out of the way, let's get the official confirmation from someone who has talked about these leaks before, is an industry insider, is someone who talks with developers consistently. This guy is someone who's very reputable and has leaked not only Call of Duty information, but information on other games as well. So the person I'm talking about is Shinobi602. So basically he tweeted out, since I've been asked about Call of Duty dozens of times and it's already out there honestly. And then he kind of put a little gif of this guy just kind of shaking his head. In a yes motion someone tweeted at him wait wait so what you're saying is world war ii is the setting shinobi replied with that's correct so again this guy is probably the most legit source we've had ever because this guy has talked about other games he's leaked infinite warfare he's leaked information on black ops 3 this guy is legit like this guy knows what he's talking about and he has confirmed that the next call of duty is going to be a world war ii setting so not only we don't know if it's going to be call of duty world war ii those images could still be fake but it's getting more credibility because even a guy who has been legit and is a very trustworthy source that a lot of people look for when it comes to information even this guy has said yes it is a world war ii setting we don't know again if it's called of Duty world war ii the name and if the artwork is legit but the setting is correct it is going to be a world war ii setting which is very very cool so again we can't say this is confirmation until activision actually posts a trailer or a teaser or something but this is about as close as we're gonna get to confirmation. I would say this guy is 99.9% .9 legit that this is the official setting. So I'm just gonna put confirmed, even though it's not technically confirmed. But anyways, guys, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like, drop a favorite. Hopefully you guys learned some new information here. If you guys are new, if you wanna see more content like this, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single upload in the future. I'm gonna have a ton more, so make sure you guys subscribe and you turn on notifications so you don't miss a single upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my gaming channel. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.